To model a Y branch surface, start by drawing profiles that you'll use with Sweep 1 Rail. I'll draw two circles, and I'll center the second circle at zero. I'll then drag that center circle up in a straight line to represent the height of our Y branch surface. Next in the top view, with my center object snap on, I'll draw a curve remaining perpendicular to both of the circles. Then we'll use sweep one rail, selecting the rail, and then immediately the cross sections. I'll accept the default settings for this swept surface. And then I'll select it and mirror it across the y-axis. Now I have two intersecting swept surfaces. In the top view, I'll trim out the middle section of both of them. And I'll do this with a rectangular sketch. I'll center it and then select it as the cutting tool for a trim operation. There are still two little bits left over that I'll have to select and delete. And then I'll select the curves and I'll hide them. Finally, we'll use blend surface to join the space between the two swept surfaces that have been trimmed. Select the first edge, enter, then select the second edge, enter, and I'll accept the defaults for this blend bulge as well. And there we have our swept surfaces now joined with a blend surface, creating our Y-shaped poly surface. And I'll select those and join them together. Let's put an environment map on this surface, and we can check out the continuity that we've established.